Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Rosalind Yukich and I am a second generation homeschool mom living in Croatia. I invite you to join me today. Be sure to like this video and be sure to follow my channel. Welcome back to another video. I am so glad that you are here with me today. I am going to be sharing with you my kids' favorite Bibles and Bible stories slash Christian books. And so I am glad to bring you along today as we review what we have here. Now, before we get started, I just want to point out a couple of things. First of all, this video is in collaboration with Emily from A Woman on the Way, and I love her channel. She talks about homeschooling her first grade son. And so if you have a child that is in first grade um, or you have a child that's going into first grade, you definitely want to go check out her channel. She has so many great tips and tricks. She does curriculum reviews. Um, and resource reviews and so if you're looking for some resources um, then you definitely are going to find a lot there with her but I also love how she brings God's Word into her homeschool and so she has become one of my favorites I really enjoy um, her channel and so you definitely want to go check her out when you're done with this video you'll find her link in the description box below but also this is in collaboration um, with other moms she's invited us to come along and to share our uh, favorite Bibles and Christian books and Bible study books for our kids and so you're gonna want to go check out that playlist when you're done here because you're gonna find a lot of other suggestions if you're looking for some bibles for your kids or if you're looking for some great christian books or bible study books for your kids you're gonna gonna want to go check that out um so before i share our stack i want to say that um one of the things that i became very convicted about as my kids were growing older is the need to go beyond just reading bible stories to my kids I began to become incredibly convicted about biblical literacy beyond just the Bible stories, but understanding the lessons in the stories, understanding God's forgiveness, his redemption, um, the reward for faithfulness and obedience, and the consequences when we don't obey and we're not faithful. Understanding that God's promises are here for us, but that they do have conditions attached to them, that there is an expectation on God's part about uh, how we will be faithful to him and obedient to him. And when he does, he rewards us with his promises. Um, understanding, um, you know, prophecy and the importance of prophecy and seeing how Jesus is reflected in the Old Testament, but how he fulfills that in the New Testament and all of these things that it's more, it's important to go just beyond the Bible stories and begin digging into the truths of God's word and the theology. Theology is important and it can be uh, it can be simplified that a child can understand it. There's no there's no reason why a child cannot understand simple theology. And so I began to realize that while it's good that I read Bible story books to my children so that they're getting a, a real comprehensive view of the stories in the Bible, it is important to read the Bible to my children. The um, Bible stories are man's retelling of God's word, but God's word is God's word, and there is power in the word of God. I'm going to start off with sharing my children's favorite Bibles with you, because um, we did get our children uh, simple translations of the Bible, and I'm really excited because just, um, I believe it was last year, maybe two years ago, uh, in Croatia, they came out with a super simple translation of the Bible. And I'm really excited because the more common um, Bible that was sold when I first moved here was equivalent to, like, say, the King James Version of the Bible. It was difficult to understand. And um, so while I would read the Bible to my children, they were slightly bored because they didn't really understand a lot of the old language. Even I didn't understand a lot of the old language. And so... Um, they came out with this. Now, if, for those of you, if you live in Croatia, this is free. At least it is in our church anyway. Um, this is just a simple translation of the Bible. And so um, super simple. My children can understand it, you know, and uh, my children are bilingual. And so, um, you know, their vocabulary is somewhat um, uh, sh smaller because uh, they are learning two languages at once, but they can still 
understand this Bible. So we have a copy for every person in the house. Now, this is something that my parents did with us when we were growing up. We'd have our family devotions. My dad, uh, through um, CBD, ordered uh, one tr one copy of the exact same Bible for everyone in our home. This would be equivalent, say, to the New International Version of the Bible. So. Um, if you're looking for a simple translation for your children, something that they are going to understand, but you're wanting a translation and not a paraphrase of the Bible, you'd want to check out the new international version. So this would be equivalent to that. That is, that is my, what my children pretty much read every day. Now, my older son, when this came out, he wanted this, uh, this Bible. Now this is a more complicated version it's not it's not king james but it would be something like maybe like the new king james or the new american standard or esv um and so but this is the reason why this is so special and so big is because this is Croatia's first study bible so it starts off with an overview of the book it goes into the history of the book the background of the book uh when it was written who's its author just like most study bibles you also have room to take notes. So I love that there's, you know, a few lines there where you can take your own notes. And then it has footnotes and um, study notes at the bottom of the page uh, for, for each chapter. Also, they bring out other highlights in this study book. So like here, it's talking about the temple. And so it talks about the temple. So there are like a bunch of study notes here. So you'll find a lot of that. So this is a really comprehensive study Bible. So what I understand is this, this is a translation of a, of a study Bible in English. So it's the full life study Bible. That was the source for this study Bible here that we have in Croatia. So if you live in Croatia and you're looking for a study Bible, Biblia Plus, you will find this, I think, pretty much in most every church and um, online Christian web, so web shop. Um, but I will go ahead and link the, um, the source for this you will find in English. So, um, and for all of the, the resources that I'm sharing that are in Croatian, I will give you a, an English, um, either the English translation or something equivalent. Now, this is not an actual Bible, but it, um, does have a lot of Bible verses in it. Um, and this is uh, Biblia Nadielu, and this is a the Action Bible translated in Croatian. And my kids love this. This is so this is like a comic strip, and so my I I love it. Now the pictures are so colorful, and it is so as you can see, it is so fun. It has all of the stories of the Bible in it, and it goes through from Genesis all the way through as you will see to Revelation. So you have um, Revelation in here as well. And so that is another option. Now this one is one of my favorites for my children. And it is definitely probably their absolute most favorite. Now they flew through this and that is the Brick Bible. It comes in two volumes. It has Old Testament and New Testament. As you can already see um, what it is, it's Lego setups. Uh, for the Bible and again it follows sort of like a comic strip format but using Legos which is so great because when my kids want to go and build something in the Bible they will refer to to this to the brick Bible but it has every book of the Bible so it goes through each book of the Bible it pulls out the stories and um, it builds them and it it goes through you know it doesn't just pick out the fun stories of the bible it goes through and even some of the more harder stories of the bible but it um it even get delves into revelation i mean just look at that it is so so fun and you know and i have to say that when i would touch on like maybe more obscure story of the bible my kids already knew about it because they had read it in the brick bible so um and they were and they could retell it very, very well. So I was pretty excited about that. Now, the last book I want to share with you is um, is our Christian book read aloud that we're doing right now. And this is actually my dad. So this is his biography. And but what I love is that in this biography, he doesn't just 
talk about his story. So he starts from his childhood and growing up in an alcoholic home and how he found Christ and how God called him to Christian ministry. Um, his, you know, growing up years, he was very angry. He was very violent. And um, he was basically told that he was going to be, um, you know, pretty much in prison, you know, from 18 through the rest of his life. Uh, and that obviously didn't happen. Um, God got a hold of him and completely transformed his life very miraculously. And he talks about how um, in his early ministry years, he was um, actually diagnosed with an incurable um, disease. And he at that time was in the military. The military was preparing him um, you know, for medical retirement and how God healed him miraculously. And he has a medical documentation of that, how in the military, they were a little bit confused, but he ended up um, with an, a, an honorable discharge uh, from the military. And so, um, you know, talking about just all of the amazing things that God did in his life and then through him and how, you know, he went into full-time ministry and how God has used him. And really the premise for this book is God sometimes called him to churches where, you know, he had uh, amazing influence in that city. And sometimes they call him to churches that were small and his influence was a lot um, less uh, uh, well known. And, but how he was willing to just do whatever God called him to do and go wherever he called him to go and go to places where God had maybe called other people to go but it really just kind of didn't fit into their plan and so they didn't go and so you know god sent him and how god has used him um, in every one of those situations and so um this is really great it's not only a, a wonderful way for my children to get to know their grandpa um in a much deeper way in a far more personal way but um to to see what God has done through him, to under to not only understand the heritage that they have, but to see how God can use anyone who's willing to do what God has called them to do. My dad um, grew up and he was not very literate when he graduated from high school um, because of his growing up years. You know, he attended so many schools, especially in grade school and junior high, um, that there was really no continuity to his education. And um, he had massive holes in his education when he graduated from high school. And yet God uh, sent him literally um, all over the world. No, but not only that, you know, he went on to, to earn two masters and a doctorate. And so God can use you. He can work through you. He can miraculously uh, do in and through you what he, what he wants to do. If you are willing to allow him to use you. And that, that is really what this book is all about. Um, if you're looking for an inspiring story for your children, this is an inspiring story for your children. Um, these are the books that we, um, that we love. There are some of them that are reading right now. Some of them my kids have already read and they have just remained really, um, dear to their hearts. So if you are looking for any of those, you'll find links in the description box below for all of the books that I showed you today and the Bibles that I showed you today. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, would you please give it a thumbs up? And if you have not subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.